I'd like to thank you all for coming today so that I can present to you my final project. My name is Mary Harris and I am a candidate for graduate school at the Louisiana University in Shreveport. My research was about online reading and secondary students' interest and participation in reading. Today I'm going to present several different parts of my project. The first will be my research question. The second will be my need for research. The third is my review of literature, then methodology, the results of my research, the discussion in my findings, the limitations of my research, and the implications for further research. My research question was, how does the availability of online reading materials impact teen interest and participation in reading in a low socioeconomic population in the age range of 14 to 18 after being taught several lessons on how to find and use these resources. I felt my research was needed because technology can be a very useful tool to teachers to enhance classroom experience. There's very little research done on high school students' reading habits and motivation. The education community needs to know if online reading can increase reading attitudes and participation. Low socioeconomic students are the most at risk for dropping out of school, and online reading may play a key role to keeping them in school. In Curveus, Russell, and Irving in 2012, a study was conducted on 10th graders through their American literature class. The study primarily was made up of a sample of African American students, and the main focus of the study was twofold. First, they wanted to test the reading strategy of independent silent reading, or ISR. Secondly, they wanted to study assess online reading by reading by requiring the students to do their ISR on the computer. The findings of this research was that the treatment group that did ISR increased their reading comprehension and they were significantly increased over the control group. The students who participated in independent silent reading increased their motivation for reading over the control group. The students who showed the largest increase in student motivation for reading were the students who did their independent silent reading on computers. In Shervani, in 2010, they conducted a research to study if students would perform better in class with the use of computer and technology in the lesson. The participating students were high school freshmen in an Algebra one class. All of these students were either African American or Hispanic. The results of the study showed that the treatment group, the group that used computers during their math class, scored higher on the exam than the control group. The results of the attitude survey that was administered showed that there was an increase in their attitude toward math. In the control group where no technology was used, there was actually a decrease in their attitude toward math. This relates to my study because the populations in my study and this study are very similar and the technology used enhance both test scores and student attitudes. Lawrence in 2009 did a study on the effectiveness of summer reading. 98% of the participants qualified for free or reduced lunch. The sample was made up of 61% African Americans, 33% Hispanic, and 6% White Asian or American Indian. The results indicated that of all the summer activities, the computer-mediated literacy activities were the most popular amongst the kids. This computer-based reading that the participants took part in were mainly websites on sports, email, and not academic reading that is required in order to improve vocabulary or reading comprehension. The methodology in my study 
is the fact that it is a qualitative study because I did a research study. The survey collected information from participants about their use of the internet and online reading in both the pre and the post test. The survey also collected data on which types of online reading activities a sample of high school students are most comfortable performing. The study was administered being online survey in a school computer lab. The research study took place from January 2015 through March 2015. All participants attend a Title I school. The initial sample from our survey was 75 students who had access to the internet either at home or at school. There were 16 Hispanic students 40 African American students, nine white students, eight Asian students, and two students who identified themselves as another race other than included. 98% of this sample qualified for free or reduced lunch. This was a sample of convenience due to both time and cost restraint. The post sample in my study contained 68 students who had access to the internet either at school or at home. There were 12 Hispanic students, 34 African American students, 10 white students, 9 Asian students, and 3 students who identified themselves as other race included in the study. A book trailer project was created that the students completed after they were taught the lessons on how to use the internet and how to read online and where to locate free online reading material, which was the treatment in this research. An unpaired t-test was used to test the claim that the lessons were taught about online reading and the use in that use would change the amount of online reading that was done by the sample. This determined if the results from my survey are true patterns that would be seen in a population or if the patterns occurred simply because of my sample selected. The results of my survey were, my pre and post test results were compared using an independent t-test. The independent t-test indicated that there was no statistical significant difference in any of the questions asked using the Likert scale, which was an indicator of students' attitude toward online reading. The research indicated that there was a 16% increase in the number of participants who read online every day after they were taught several lessons on how to find and use online reading materials. In the initial survey, 43% of the students reported that they read online every day. In my post survey, that number increased to 59% after the adjustment was made for the decrease in sample size. You can see here that the students that reported that read every day in the pretest is 43%. The students who indicated they read every day online in the post test increased to 59%. The post test did not show, did show an increase in the means of all questions asked using the Likert scale. However, the increase in the means did not show a statistical difference. It does show that the sample had an increase in positive attitude when answering questions about online reading. Discussion of my findings. This current research supports a study conducted by Green, Kim, and Walker on what types of activities teenagers like to do online. Their survey reported that 52% of participants went online at least one time per day. The students in the focus group reported two most popular activities while online were online communication and using search engines. In the current study, 59% of the participants read online every day and the highest mean in the Likert scale questions dealt with the subject of online communication, social media, and internet research. This is a promising correlation for future research because it demonstrates the importance of the internet to our students. In both studies, 
Teenagers are increasingly interested in an online communication, social media, and internet research. As teachers, this is important to know because we can use this information in creating lessons that are more meaningful and more engaging for our students. Current research also supports a study done by Curveus, Russell, and Irving in 2012 on reading comprehension and reading motivation in a focus group that participated in independent silent reading on the computer. The study indicated students who demonstrated the largest increase in their reading motivation were the students who participated in ISR on the computer. It was also proven that the treatment group that used ISR increased their reading comprehension over the control group. The sample group in both the previous and my current study are very similar. Both studies were done at a Title I school, with the sample majority being African American students. In the current study, there was an increase in reading motivation in the students when they utilized computers for reading. This positive correlation indicates using computers for reading is an important tool for teachers who work with a similar population of students. My research did have some limitations. The limitations were, first of all, I had a sample size of convenience. So the sample size was too small to actually show a significant statistical difference. The study suffered from mortality because the original sample size decreased. This was a result, some students changed their schedules, they moved to another school, or they were absent on the day of the pretest, or the post-test, excuse me. This affects the study because it limits the, generalizable, the generalization ability of the results and could, induce, and could introduce bias. The study also suffered from maturation. Many of the participants started in the 13 to 14 year old range, but when finished, they were in the 15 to 16 year old range. This is a true threat to this research because it utilized a pre and a post test. Maturation in the study indicates that the change in the sample's answers on the post-test cannot be directly linked to my study. It could simply be caused by the passing of time. Future research on this subject could include to see if an increase in online reading would lead to improved reading comprehension or increase in academic achievement. There are, the more that is known about reading patterns, motivations, and interests of high school students, the better decisions can be made in terms of purchasing textbooks, improving lessons, improving curriculum, and even school libraries. Future research may also show that more students would utilize the library if they had access to e-books, electronic readers, and electronic databases. Thank you all for listening to my presentation, and I'd like to ask now if you have any questions about anything I've presented today. Okay. What were some of the things taught in the lesson the online reading? Some of the things that were taught in the online reading lessons were how to access books online for free, websites that had online magazines, websites where you didn't require a subscription to the reading material, and how to access things that they would use in the classroom online instead of in print. Any other questions? Um, so because the study showed no statistical difference, does that mean that online reading was not effective? No, actually, the study did show that online reading had increased. As a matter of fact, 16%, which is considerable. Now, it didn't show the motivation of the children increased in terms of online reading, but I got more kids to read doing this survey. That's what it showed. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it.